Hello guys, um, from our previous video, um, we actually compute uh, the regression line equation for this set of data and then we're able to predict the value of y when x is given as 25. And um, we can also make use of this um, natural display calculator to compute um, several things. So, um, I'm, I can still um, give assurance that all this set of data is still on this calculator. So as far I still have the statistics showing here. So as you can see, if I press the mode, um, the mode button, let's say shift and one, it starts. And then I go for data. I can still see all these tables, the set of values I have in this table still on this calculator. So I can still compute several things on this calculator which is different from the regression line equation and which is different from predicting the value of uh, y when x is 25. So um, what else can you make, uh, what else can you compute using this calculator? I can decide to obtain the um, Pearson's correlation coefficient r. We all believe that the formula for r is always given as the number of uh, items you have for each variables, which is just 11 in this case. That is, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So n is 11. So I remember the um, formula for the person's correlation coefficient is given as n summation, the variable of x times variable of y minus the summation of the set of data you have for x, and then multiply by the summation of all the data you have for your y, then divided by the square root of um, I should add the two product here and what are those two things we have n summation the sum of all the squares of the data minus what you have at the summation of your x data then you square it and square it square then in this case you should have summation of without having x that will be summation of y squared that's the sum of all your y's, then minus the summation of y, then you square the result. You know, for you to compute something like this, it's going to take your time. This thing simply implies multiply x and y together, that is, multiply this and this 0 times this is 6, 1 times 8 is 8, 2 times 9 is these, then like that. Then sum all the results. That's for only this. Before you, then you now multiply it by the um by the number of items you have, which is what um which is 11, the number of observations. And now summation x is sum all these results to get your answer here. Summation y sum all these, then you get it here. You see, to compute this kind of thing, it's going to take your time. But with the help of this calculator, since I already have all this data, I can easily tell you the final answer to this R. That's very, very easy. The same thing, go to that shift and one, then the regression you have on number five. The value of your R is already on this calculator, which is number three. And the five, by the time I press three, R is displaying a press equal to sign the final answer is 0 0.952 so I'm very sure by the time you solve this or you analyze this yourself I'm very sure this is what you get and um, what if I don't want to get the straight answer yes I can decide to get all the data I have here you know I have n here and n over there is n is 11 so I think I need summation xy to, come to know what the value of x, y is, um, I think I should be able to do that. Shift and 1. And then um, I can see some here, yeah, this 3. Now when I, when I go for number 3, you see everything is displaying. The summation x square is displaying. Wow, that's very nice. I have my summation x square for this down part. I have my summation x for this upper part. I have summation y. And I have summation y square. So I have everything I need. So I think for this first one, I need summation x, y. And summation x, y is on number 5. On number 5, press equal to, then I have 851 minus. You see, this is very, very fast. Rather than using your hand to compute whatever you need. Except if the question comes in theoretical aspect. Maybe uh, you want to try to do a theory, uh, theory exam, then you can. You must show your workings. You have to analyze everything. So now what is summation x? I will go back to that shift and, um, and the one I have. Then the same thing go for the sum number three. Then I need summation x, that is two. Summation x is 55. This summation x is actually coming from whatever you have here. When you sum all these things, I'm very sure you have 25. 
so you see that is the usefulness of this calculator and then if i need summation why also you press this ac then go for shift and one the same thing some similarly then i go for number four summation y that gives me 141 then all divided by the square root of i have by m to be 11 and then um, we have the summation of x squared here do the same thing similarly 3 x squared is on number 1 equal to and I have 385 minus the summation of x I have it before as 55 then you square the result that is for the first bracket now for the second bracket I have 11 similarly summation y squared I don't have it before C shift and 1 similarly 3 then summation y squared is on number 3 press equal to then I have 20 21 minus i have summation y to be 141 earlier then you square it and then you close the bracket so when you get here so um the same thing with the use of this calculator i can decide to i can compute everything here at once i can decide to input all these values at once and that's very very easy to do um you see a box about box it is a fraction button okay it's not displaying so i don't have choice than to clear all my data so as far as i have everything i want so i'll press this mode button then go back to my computerized mode computer that's number one the comp number one button so then i can i'll go ahead and press this fraction button that then it's displaying something over something you have a box over box which is showing you have the numerator and then you have the denominator so then i'll put in the values 11 open bracket 851 close the bracket minus open another bracket 55 then close it open another one 141 i think hope i'm not too fast and that's very easy to do then to come down is that you press this down button or you press the right button as you can see this is you have a blink, blinking line here a blinking vertical vertical line here then just press either the down button or you press the right right button so then you have a square root of two products you see that then go to move inside the first product and then compute whatever you need 11 times i open a bracket 385 close the bracket minus open another 155 close it then square it i think that's all then move to the second bracket i have it here then 11 open a bracket 2021 20, close the bracket and then minus open another one 141 close it then you square it i'm very sure by the time i press my equal to sign i will surely get this and that will be very very easy to do and then press your equal to sign wow that is very very fantastic and we have the same answer 0.52 so which is very correct so guys this is all i have for you and um i will make sure i drop more um much um things that you can use this calculator to do we also have um whenever you want to deal with questions on probability uh, there are some things you can use this calculator to do and we have several of them so guys this is all i will just have to show you for now if there's any other additional um, things I can use this to do, I'll make sure I share it with you guys. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching.